Today, I'm going to be covering five things that will help you gain more clients and make more money as a barber. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for tuning in and hopefully you get something valuable out of this video. And if you do, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so number one on the list, build a rapport with your clients. And this is basically building a relationship with them. A lot of times barbers forget that barbering is a customer service based business. So how you treat people will determine. You may give them the best haircut ever, but if they don't feel like they got a good experience with you, they may not come back. At the end of the day, these clients are going to be the people that are putting food on your table and paying your bills. So it's very important to build a relationship with them. It's much better to have a long-term client than to make a quick $30 off of a haircut and you never see them again. So you may be wondering, how do I build a rapport with my clients? For example, if you use a booking system, before the client arrives, you may not know their name, but simply just look on the app. Okay, this is John coming to get an appointment. So as soon as they come into your establishment, hey John, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. And they might be like, oh, wait a minute, how does he know my name? It's just the little things that will pay off. Part of building a relationship with someone is getting to know them. So when you're servicing them in the chair, you know, just bring up light conversations. You know, where are you from? How did you hear about me? Just, just light conversation. You don't just want to treat them like a transaction. Of course, barbering is a business, but at the same time, you want to build that relationship so that they will keep coming back to you. I'll give you an example. Now, I consider myself to be a good barber, but I'm sure there are other barbers out there that can cut better than I can. However, people will come back to me because they say I have a likable personality. So that can just be something that can also be a part of your brand. Moving on to number two. You want to develop client profiles. Whenever you're cutting someone, and this is your first time cutting their hair, you want to take mental notes in your head, okay, this is the way their hair grows. So for example, they may have a cow lick on one side of their head or the hair grows at an angle this way. You want to take mental notes. So that way when they come back to you the next time, you know exactly what to do. And this will build trust between you and the client. You will have clients that are particular about their hair or their hair may grow in a particular way. But if you can get those haircuts right, you will lock in those clients for life. Also, whenever you're cutting someone for the first time, the consultation is very important. So I always like to tell people, I listen to what they say when they want a haircut, but I also try to pull up a picture or have them pull up a picture. So that way we can communicate as close as possible. This is what you want and this is the desired outcome. And sometimes you have to be realistic with your clients. So they may show you a picture that is Photoshop, they have enhancements, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. But sometimes if you look at the client's hair and you look at what the picture is, you have to communicate to them like, hey, I just want to let you know this picture has been Photoshopped. So this line is not even real. So it may not look as sharp as this. Now I can add enhancements to your haircut to make it look sharp, but this is not under normal conditions. So you just have to communicate things like that to your clients. And this ties right in with tip number three. Now I want you guys to pay very close attention to tip number three. In my opinion, this is the most important tip on this board. It's common sense, but if you are not consistent, you will lose a lot of clients. And the way you become consistent is by developing a system. The reason why I have a lot of clients that come to me repeatedly and I constantly gain new clients is because I have a system that I follow with every single haircut. So that's why it's very important to develop you a system. Let's say you have a client and you just blow their haircut out of the water the first time. But then when they come back to you maybe two or three weeks later and you don't do as good, they're gonna be like, what happened? And you may lose that client. 75% of the haircuts that you're gonna do are going to be simple haircuts. Tapers and fades are going to be the majority of your haircuts. Now, that's not saying that you won't have someone come in that wants a design, but that's only gonna be a small percentage of your clientele. So you need to master the basics of haircutting. And that's why I say you need to develop a system so you can be consistent. Now, tip number four, this is where we get into branding yourself and having individuality as a barber. So tip number four, develop a signature style. So different clients like different barbers because of what they can do. For example, people like to come to me because I give nice, clean fades. So that's what people know me for. That's, I can do designs, but that's not my specialty. You have to know what you're really good at. Now I can do everything well, but I feel like I can specialize in one area and separate myself. So if you have a passion for art and you like to do designs, hone in on doing designs and that's the type of clients that you will attract. And those clients that are looking for you will find you if you market yourself as, hey, I do designs or I'm really good at doing fades. And last but not least, let's move on to tip number five. Show gratitude to your clients. Let them know that you appreciate them. If these people are putting 
food on your table and helping you pay your bills, it's not too much to say, hey, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate you as a client. And that will go really far. People will tip you even for saying, thank you for being a loyal client or thank you for always being on time. People really appreciate the little things. Now, I couldn't end this video without giving you guys a bonus tip. So this bonus tip will definitely play a role in helping you get more clients and make more money, definitely. And let me explain why. Offer incentives to your clients that bring you more clients. Let's say if someone has been coming to you for about two months and they really like how you cut their hair and they refer you three new clients within a month. Go the extra mile whenever you're doing the service. So if they only book a haircut, throw in a steam treatment or a hot towel treatment, just something to show them that you really appreciate them for bringing you new, you new clients. You can even offer them a discount off of their haircut. And you may say, wait a minute, I'm losing money. I thought you wanted me to make more money. Well, if they're, if they're bringing you new people, and if you follow these steps that I just mentioned, you're going to be making more money because you just gained three new clients off of one person. And if you retain them, then you permanently have three new clients that one person just brought you. And this process will continue over and over. And another reason you should go the extra mile for clients that bring you extra clients, for example, going back to that same example of where if you just, if they only booked a haircut and you offered them a steam treatment or a hot towel service, that may be like, hey, how much extra is that? I want to book that next time. And you just make additional money. So you see how this, it starts to add up? You make small investments to get a bigger return. So by following all of these steps, you can take one client, which can turn into multiple clients, giving you an entire new lane of clientele. Eventually, you'll have more clients than you can even cut. And this all leads to more money. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below. Also, comment what other videos you guys want to see. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next video.